this 10 mile walk that I'm doing is actually part of a much longer coastal route. I've only got my Nikon Z50 with me today. I say only, it's a great camera. It's my favorite travel camera. It's good to think and figure stuff out in your head. What a fantastic trail this is as well. Just incredible. Today I'm on the southeast coast of England. I jumped on a bus and came to Deal and I've got a very interesting 10 mile walk along the coast to Dover. I've been meaning to do this for many years and it's pretty exciting, so let's get on with it. This 10 mile walk that I'm doing is actually part of a much longer coastal, mainly coastal route called the Saxon Way, which starts in Gravesend, comes around the southeast coast, goes way down to the marshes near Rye. From the research that I've been doing, even though this section of the trail goes to Dover, very, very busy port town, it's a little bit off the beaten path uh, and you can't really access it from too many places. I'm not expecting many people there, and I never really read much about this stretch, yet it's where the White Cliffs, the famous White Cliffs start. Deal Castle was built during the reign of Henry VIII to keep the French out, and also the Holy Roman Empire, because I think the old boy upset the Catholics and was worried what the Pope might do. Okay, here we are at the start of those famous white cliffs or actually the end if you've come the other way. So we're about to climb up and walk across the top along the edge of the cliffs. Little buggers. So let's just, oh, that's bright. Let's talk about camera gear. That's why we're here, isn't it? To go for a walk with our camera. So. I've only got my Nikon Z50 with me today. I say only, it's a great camera. It's my favorite travel camera. Crop sensor with a 35 mil prime, manual focus, 
So that gives me full frame equivalent about 52 millimeters, which 50 millimeter focal range is, is really my favorite go-to focal range when I'm out and about like this. So no problems there. The thing is, I don't like telephoto lenses. I don't like carrying them around with me these days. They're far too heavy. But this is probably the only time I can think of in a long while that I could do with a 70 to 200 with me. And the reason is, is we're gonna be walking across the top of the cliffs and there are gonna be some points where we get to see right along the, the cliff face and we wanna go in really tight and compress, compress those layers of, of chalk cliffs. But unfortunately I can't do that. So I'm gonna to have to get creative with this little guy, aren't I? But that's fine. I like being creative. I think that you, when you've got too many lenses, too many focal ranges to choose from, um, it, can, it can take away the creativity a little bit. It's good to think and figure stuff out in your head rather than just rely on zooming in and out. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Let's get moving. What a fantastic day. What a fantastic trail this is as well. Just incredible.
wrong on two points. The first being when we walked across the top of those cliffs, I was sure that there would be points where we would, we would be able to see layers and layers of, of white cliffs going off into the distance, but we didn't. There were a few places where you can go really close to the edge and see a little bit, but you've got to be pretty stupid to do that. And I'm only a little bit stupid these days. The other thing was, I didn't think it would be busy at all. I really didn't. But then I realized as I got into Dover, I'm seeing loads of people, more people in Dover than I normally see when I'm here. I realized it's, it's half term. And it's, it's also Jubilee long weekend and everybody's out enjoying this wonderful weather. So I guess that plays a part in it. Anyway, to sum up, 10 miles from Deal to Dover, it's an absolutely fantastic coastal walk and I highly recommend it. Take your camera. Thanks for watching.